Assalamu alaikum. Brother James Ramey X is here today. It is a pleasure and honor to come before you today to talk to you about my favorite subject, which is how to eat to live. From this book, How to Eat to Live, from God in Person, Master Fahd Muhammad, by Elijah Muhammad, the Messenger of Allah. My favorite book because I lost weight and got my health back. Uh, following the instructions of what the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad told us to do. So today, the question has come up in my mind because I see it a lot. And that question is, why is one meal a day so hard? For some, for others, but for the majority of us, one meal a day seems to be very hard, an impediment that keeps us from moving forward in our health. Many of us have diabetes, but yet we've read how to eat to live. We have high cholesterol, yet we read how to eat to live. A lot of us have type 2 diabetes, yet we've read how to eat to live. So the question is, why is one meal a day so hard? So I ask myself the question, is it because one meal a day is just so hard? Is it because I fear I may starve? Or is it because I'm a food addict and I just don't want to admit it? So if you would just be patient with me, I will uh, go through this so we can maybe try to figure this out as to what is eating us, you know, from one meal a day, every other day, yet we have the book and it collect dust. Some of you, we had to take that book down and go and blow the dust off of how to eat the live. Well, this is what the messenger said in how to eat the live, book one, page 22. He says, eat one meal a day or one meal every other day and it will prolong your life. Do not think that you will starve. On the contrary, you will be treating yourself to life and life filled with sickless days. You can hardly get sick eating this way. I know because I have this experience. If you eat the proper food, which I have given to you from Allah in the person of Master Fraud Muhammad, to whom praises do forever, in this book, you will hardly ever have a headache. I mean, he's telling us that if we eat according to what it tells us in this book, one meal a day, every other day or every three days, that you will hardly ever get sick. But I found one of the problems with one meal a day, one of the things that we have been taught in this country since childbirth is we have been taught to eat three meals a day. Now, those of us that were not born into eating one meal a day, it sounds strange. Three meals a day actually came from, it was a British elitist uh, form of status eating three meals a day. It wasn't the standard quo uh, for everyone. The doctors didn't come up with it to say that you would be healthy. But today, we have been taught from childbirth from our parents who were given the same thing from their parents that we need to eat three meals a day. And as I was reading, America is one of the fattest countries in the world. And if you look, we went to an amusement park. I'm telling you, everybody is big, but especially black people. 90% of black women are obese. 65% of black men. We are eating way too much because this is what we were taught. So I looked the word programmed up because that's what happened. We were programmed. It says programmed, past tense. Provide with coded instructions for the automatic performance of a task. So here we are. We, we've been programmed, man. Eat three meals a day. Eat many meals as you want. You know, you look at the commercial. They got the guy. He's a girl. Then he eats a candy bar and he turns back into a man. They're telling you to eat 
whenever you feel like snack on this, snack on that. But with us, anything that goes against what we've been programmed to do is a threat to our system. I told a person one day about how I lost weight and they were like, how you do it? And I told him, you know, one meal a day. The first thing, I've had this happen with numerous people, the first thing that comes out of their mouth is, I can't do that. You tell them I eat one meal a day? I can't do that. I didn't even tell them they should do it. I told them what I did. And the mind immediately went into threat mode and said, I can't do that. But you haven't even tried, beloved. See, we have been programmed to where we won't even attempt the uphill road. The question about one meal a day and why it's so hard. We have actually, what I've learned is, people have become food addicts. Or we are addicted to eating all the time. Even when we're not hungry, and it talks about that and how to eat to live. So why eat when you're not hungry? But you go buy some chips and sit on the refrigerator, you'll come in the house and won't even be hungry. I used to do it. I would see that bag and start eating. If I, I just go in the refrigerator, wouldn't even be hungry. What can I eat? Instead of just sitting, I had became addicted to food. Not because my body was hungry. Not because my body was starving. I wasn't feeding it healthy food. So we have become addicted to food. And there are three things in food that make it very addictive. Salt, sugar, and fat. It is something about the three combination that has us can't stop. One of the most addictive foods, I call it the kryptonite, is chips. Some of us, we can't stop eating chips, which is full of preservatives, full of sodium, some full of sugar, some of it has artificial flavor. You're not even getting real cheese out this stuff. It's a cheese and cream and cheese and chips and we're eating the stuff and it's not even real. But they have chemicals in their design that the minute it hits your tongue, it goes up to the pleasure gland in the brain. And you say, oh, let me get one. And before you know it, you're hitting two, three, four, five. Then you look up, you got somebody's bag. Or you go buy your own bag and you're eating. So you have to look at the addictive eating when I want. Now here you come with how to eat the living. You're going to tell me eat once a day. I'm used to eating when I want. I remember reading on how to eat to live. He, the messenger was talking about having a regulatory system as far as eating that we didn't have that. We just eat when we want. And the three meals a day and all the snacks in between. Um, I have another quote here from the Holy Quran that I would like to read. And it's from Surah 90, verses 1 through 13. I would like to read this. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Nay, I call to witness this city, and thou wilt be made free from obligation in this city. And the begetter, and he whom he beget, begot, we have certainly created man to face difficulties. Does he think that no one has power over him? He will say, I have wasted much wealth. Does he think that no one sees him? Have we not given him two eyes and a tongue and two lips and pointed out to him the two conspicuous highways? But he attempts not the uphill road. Hmm. And what will make thee comprehend what the uphill road is? In verse 13, it says, it is to free a slave. He said that he created us to face difficulty. What is the uphill road that is hindering us from practicing 
one meal a day. I heard the lecture by the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan called Fear, Faith, and Truth. And in it, he talked about challenging your faith. This is one of the things that helped me to lose weight. Challenging our faith. Challenging our faith that I can practice one meal a day. Jesus said, if you had the faith, the grain of a mustard seed, what we can say to the mountain, be ye removed. You were created in the image and likeness of God. You can do what you will if you believe. We have to get over the food addiction by letting it go. Too many things got us hooked. You know, we're hooked on processed foods. We're hooked on fried foods, processed meats. The stuff has additive chemicals in it that make you addicted. All the salt, all the sodium. You know, we fear starvation. I'd like to try one meal a day, but man, I'm gonna get hungry. And what if you pass out? I have people say, what if you pass out eating one meal a day? We are so gone that we can't even phantom. I didn't even know what fasting was until I met Muslims. I was like, what is it? Never heard of such thing. Fast. We practice in Ramadan, brother. Which lets you know. I had never heard of it. And many of us have never heard of it. And when we do hear it, we still do not believe in ourselves that it can be done. Soda is another horrible thing. So addictive. So many people are in dialysis today because they get hooked on soda. We're hooked on the fried, saturated fat that clogs the arteries. That should be motivation enough, beloved, to say, man, I'm letting that go because that will kill me. Well, I do it on my birthday. I'm going to start doing one meal a day. You got to get to the birthday first. I used to say, oh, man, when I get 30, 30 came. I was like 35, 35 came. I was at 40. Then I, you know, at 35, I was in trouble because the health was going downhill. I was like, yeah, 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 I'm going to do it. And unfortunately, I wound up uh, in the hospital because I wasn't uh, doing one meal a day. We try all these diets, all these diets, because we don't want to let the food go. People are telling me, oh, man, see, uh, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to juice. And, uh, but brother, you know about how to eat the lid, right? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I'm on juice. Well, if you believe in Master Fahad Muhammad, if you believe in the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, if you believe in the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan, then why would we try anything else other than this? Why? This is a testimony of your belief. If you believe in them, there's nothing else I would try other than how to eat the lid. There was nothing else that would take the weight off of me but how to eat the lid one meal a day. Then I went to every other day. I've gotten my health back. I'm back in the 120s of blood pressure. Cholesterol is down. I don't have diabetes. I'm running. I'm biking. I'm exercising. Before then, my stomach was big. I couldn't do Two push-ups, went to the dojo and did a push-up and a half and fell on my fat stomach. But I learned that I had to have the belief because with belief, you will conquer all. I believe, yet my uniform is getting bigger. I believe, but my suits, I got to get taken out. I believe, but that garment, you got to get taken out. I just felt, and maybe not for you, that I should have some personal shame. And I looked back on it and I said to myself, you have to do better. 
I felt I should be ashamed of myself. I know we are all human and I was human. But now that I know that it was my lack of faith, now I have the duty to get up and get myself right. Many of us have children. We want to see those children full grown. Not, oh man, I need a heart transplant. I need a kidney transplant. Because I didn't heed the warning. And the messenger talks about it, how to eat to live. How some of us, our own teeth is going to take us out. Isn't that bad? That your own hands will take you out. But it's all because of food addiction. And we're going to get rid of food addiction today. No longer will Satan have us locked down into his potato chips. I did an experiment last week with potato chips. I stuck them all in paper bags and the next day it was all grease at the bottom. You should never buy food out of a gas station. You go in there, everything in there is processed full of sugar, sodium, and to buy chips in a bag made of aluminum foil because they don't want you to know how greasy this thing is and how this thing is going to make you so big. And you look up, we swelling up. Because we're not counting calories. We go to the fast food restaurant and it say 500 calories for a Big Mac. I believe it. I got the notes here. 1,040 milligrams of sodium. This is why we're having high blood pressure problems. We're eating a bag of chips full of sodium, full of saturated fat, some with sugar. The three deadly things that will take you out, that got you addicted when you hit it. The brain says, give me more. But just like a drug, if you put it to the side and say, you know what? I'm not going to eat the chips. I'm not going to eat the pop and what, drink the pop. You'll see that it won't call you no more. That stuff is almost you. What was that song? Fiending? That stuff have you fainting. Some of us get a sugar crave. You say, man, I need some sugar. You get up and go to the store in the middle of the evening. like, hey. And I'm going to say one of the worst things that people eat is the donut. This is fried, uncooked dough or partially cooked dough. So you're getting grease. All in this thing. I'm talking about straight grease. And then they lay sugar all on top of it. And some of them, they put the, the candy on top of it. You eat that stuff every day with one of those sugar-loaded coffees. You might have almost 2,000 calories in donuts and coffee. And there we go. We can do it, beloved. We can stop the food addiction and practice one meal a day. I know it's kind of hard. I've been there. Four chicken wings. <laughs> I decided to look this up. 490 calories. That's in fried chicken wings. Depending on how big they are, it can get a little bit bigger. 62% of Fat is in that. Clog your arteries up. I want to read one more verse from the Holy Quran and then I'm going to let you go. It's a beautiful piece. It's in Surah 36, verse 65, and it says, That day we shall seal their mouths, and their hands will speak to us, and their feet will bear witness as to what they earn. Your hands and your feet. You can't hide. Man, ain't nobody know me. You know, punch one meal a day. But we're getting bigger. Allah say, your hands and your feet. We look up. We swollen. I was swole. Face was swole up. You can't hide. 
<laughs> we can't hide. But let us attack this addiction by getting on the right path, letting the junk food go, letting the processed food go. Processed meats cause colon cancer, like cold cuts. You don't want to eat that stuff. Even when you barbecue, you want to use gas and not charcoal because it got chemicals that are going to the food. The messenger said the best way to prepare our meat and cooking to live is to boil it. When I was working on losing weight, I would boil a, um, a pot of chicken breast. And every day when I went, I worked in the evening for my five o'clock meal, I would have chicken breast, uh, some brown rice, and some veggies. And that was my meal for a while. My one meal a day, I would pack it in. Boom. Every now and then, I might have threw a, a, a corn or a, a, a flour tortilla up in there to add something with some veggies, mainly flour. And that's what I would do. And it helped me to lose the weight. The meat was very tender, not dry. As the messenger talked about, we don't want to wear our stomachs out. So, beloved, that was just my quick piece on, uh, you know, why we can't practice you know, why we can't eat one meal a day? It's because of the addiction of the food of this society. It's because we have been taught to eat many times a day, snacking, eating, and we're not eating healthy. I'm Brother James Ramey X. It was a pleasure to come before you today. I pray you got something out of it. Continue to watch on Do It All to Live and subscribe to my YouTube page so that you can get the benefit of the things we'll talk about and how to eat to live. Thank you so much and have a beautiful day. Assalamu alaikum.